Hey everyone, so I've been testing out this Android TV 13 setup and after a few tweaks to make it feel like my own, I got to say it could easily replace my Fire Stick, Android TV or even Google TV. It's fast, clean and does pretty much everything I need. These little guys, the USB and SSD, handle everything I throw at them. YouTube and Jellyfin run perfectly. Games like Minecraft and Fortnite play without a hitch. And of course, retro gaming is no problem at all. Now let's do a quick boot using the USB. And just like that, everything works as expected. It's small, portable, fits right in your pocket and perfect to show off to your friends. If you want the full setup guide, check out my previous video. Now I'll quick, quickly put together my Lenovo Tiny PC. This time we're booting straight from the internal SSD, no USB needed. Before we dive in any deeper, don't forget to like and subscribe, I got more cool projects coming out soon. When it comes to specs, this is the Lenovo M910 Qtiny, it's running an Intel Core i5 7500T, 16 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs SSD. It's a small footprint, solid performance. And let's do the first boot to see how everything goes. This setup is running Android 13. And as for storage, we got 63 gigs available. That's more than enough for my apps, games and media. Now the DRM info is We Divine L3. That means streaming services like Netflix, Prime and Disney Plus will be limited to SD quality. But just as a quick note, this doesn't affect your personal media server. Plex or Jellyfin will still play your content in full 4K, not a problem. I also wanted to test the Bluetooth connection and as you can see it connects just fine to this K12 speaker. It's a budget option, but honestly, the sound quality isn't bad at all. I went ahead and changed the default launcher to Project Ivy. I just prefer the layout. It gives you a lot of options, even in the free version, and it's really easy to customize. Moving on, let's test out some media playback. We'll start with YouTube. I've enabled stats for nerds so you can see how it performs. After that, we'll jump into Jellyfin.
All right, moving on. Let's do a quick Steam game test. I'm using the Apollo Moonlight setup. If you haven't heard of it before, Apollo turns your powerful PC into a gaming server and Moonlight lets other devices stream and play those games. To test these games, I'll be using my Easy SMX controller. It's simple to use and never had any issues with it, and it's pretty budget friendly. Great for setups like this. Moving on, let's do a quick Minecraft test. This time I'm launching it through Playnight, which help organize and run games smoothly on this setup. And of course I had to try a quick Fortnite game just to test how it is. Now let's try the real stuff. Moonlight and Apollo work great, but can he actually play anything? I installed Daijisho, a beautiful front-end for retro gaming, perfect for this kind of setup. Let's launch it and try out a few games. Overall, this setup turned out really nice. Everything I tested works well and honestly covers everything I personally need. It's fast, portable and feels like a complete Android TV experience. Would even make a great gift or a fun weekend project. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.